What's Gucci YouTube fam? Rishi Rich, we coming at you and basically I wanted to do a quick vlog. What is Rishi Rich up to guys? You know what it is, we're always up to something. Had to make this move today and I wanted to vlog it. It's gonna be a weird one guys. You see what it is, we got the Yeezy Boost 350 right here. It's Yeezy season, what are we doing? We're moving some Yeezys. I told you guys, you gotta get what you like. I wanted to get my hands on these shoes and I did, okay? This isn't typical, but got the shoes in hand. I said, man, they're, excuse my, they're ugly as fuck, okay? These Yeezys are ugly as fuck and Rishi Rich had to make that move. I told you, get what you like and I just wasn't a big fan. We did the unboxing, guys. You guys saw it when it came in the mail. The box was already halfway open. Did the review on them, but I just wasn't feeling these shoes. I said, okay, as ugly as they are, they gotta be comfortable, right? You got the Boost technology, Adidas. Guys, what are we doing? I just, I don't know if I'm a big fan of this collab right now. I'm a big fan when he was on, you know, Nike brand and just the shoe looked really good. I mean, it was a hot shoe, you know? It got a little too hyped. Same thing has kind of trickled over to Adidas. So I kind of wanted to vlog this, you know? Guys, we, I'm gonna be putting up a mall vlog soon. You guys are gonna have to check that out. That was pretty cool. We got the low infrared sixes coming at you. I got the Lady Liberties in the mail. Um, I got the second Sharpie pack coming. We got some big things. I actually have a 10 part unboxing for you guys. We've already shot. And basically, just coming down to the edit, we're going to get that video up for you guys. A lot of heat on this channel. Straight Flames, need you to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. I just wanted to capture this moment because, like I said, the shoes got to be as comfortable as I don't know what. Oh, Lord, they were not, and that's why these are gone. I wanted somebody to basically get them that wanted them, and that's why we're making that move. We are moving these Yeezy Boost 350. You know what it is, guys? Yeezy season. Look, we driving, and I told you, got to multitask. You got to multitask. It's Rich Rich Channel. Check those vlogs. We always multitask. And they're gone. I'm moving these, and they're going to be out of here. That's a wrap. We had some people say they were ugly. We had some people say they were hot. Are they hot or are they not? To me, that's a wrap, guys. I put them on. It just didn't work for me. I don't know what it is. Not a fan of the shoe. These had to go. And so that's why Rishi Rich, we blogging it. And I told you, a lot of things to talk about, a lot of things to discuss. And that's it, that's all, man. So you guys get that last look at the Yeezys. Take a look. I mean, really? Guys, really? I don't usually do this. I have a deep collection. I love what I have. I get it because I like it. I just wasn't a big fan. Nothing against Adidas again. I just, I'm not, I'm not sure about this one. I don't know what it is. And that's why I decided to basically pull the plug on these. That's it. That's a wrap. What's Gucci YouTube fam? Done deal, I told you. <laughs> I keep it real, guys. I need to tell you something. That mysterious Janie needs to put her belt on because I know you don't want to hear that, guys. So I'll hold the camera. Hey, it's Rishi Rich. I always multitask. You know what it is, work hard all day, every day. You heard the click, guys. Click it or tick it. All right, so guys, we headed out of here and I told you, I had to let you know what's going on. Wasn't a big fan of the shoe, moved it, pay it forward, the next person gets it that actually wants it. Come to find out. We exchange money, everything like that. He actually tells me, guys, you need to know this, all right? This may have to become an informational channel. Real talk, we hitting real talk right now. So what happened was he told me he's headed to China in two weeks and he needed an authentic. The rest is history, guys, really. You guys gotta watch out. Beware, buyer beware, always. I was kind of shocked. I'm thinking, okay, he's a shoe head, he's a big fan. And uh, he had an ulterior motive. He was, I guess, truthful enough to tell me that after the fact, um, but I didn't picture that before we were gonna move these shoes, guys. I had no idea, but it's a big business, guys. You guys really have to watch out. You know, when you think about it, now we could have actually a conversation about 
Authentic. Authenticity, guys. All right. I've done quite a few things actually in the fashion industry. I, I'm not going to go into that. Um, this was maybe about eight, six, seven, eight years ago. Um, we'll have to get to that on another video. But quite honestly, you know, there are people out there that are looking to move stuff that isn't what you expect it to be. The resale on some of these shoes, um, things that drop, it just ends up being crazy. The only way you truly know if it's authentic is if it came from that manufacturer. Did you buy it from a reputable source? When you start to buy shoes from somebody else, you meet them somewhere, you, you do this, that, and the other, you order them online, you buy them off eBay, you're not 100% guaranteed you're gonna get what you expect to get. All right, so I just want you guys to be warned. You need to worry about who you're actually dealing with. This was something that I think is actually a good discussion story, and that's why I kind of wanted to go into it because I was still kind of shocked. I told you I wasn't a big fan of the shoes, and that's why I didn't keep them. They weren't going to be a part of my collection because I like to get what I like and I like to wear what I like. All right, so I'm actually wearing the Baron Nines because I had to retire the Yeezy 350 boost. That's what it is, all right? MJ retired, he went to play baseball, he came back to what he loved. I love shoes, guys. You guys can see it. You can see it in the archive. You know what the channel is about. You know we keep it real. And quite honestly, that's what happened. So I gotta share it with you because I think it's a good story. Ironically, I had no idea that somebody was gonna plan to do that. And it's kind of another story that I have where I went to buy a pair of Yeezy 750 boots, and that mysterious, that mysterious Janie knows about this story. I went to pick up a pair of 750 boots. all right? I wasn't a big fan of it when I saw some of the pictures. It got really hyped. And then um, I was like, you know what? I want to see these shoes in person. I wanna see them in hand and decide. So I went to meet with somebody who was selling them and I was willing to pick them up. You know, you pay the extra price. Look, if you guys want something, sometimes you're gonna have to pay a little bit more if you weren't able to get them when they release. And a lot of people are just trying to pick stuff up so they can hit somebody else's head, for you know, just charge that premium. Well, anyways, I get together with this person. You know, he's talking about all this other stuff. He's got, he's like, check out my Instagram, this, that, and the other. The funny thing was, as soon as I saw them, he's like, I have the receipt. I bought them in, uh, at Foot Locker in New York. <laughs> I didn't know who I was meeting up with. Um, <laughs> he showed me, he basically hit me with the Jim Jones. Guys, the shoes weren't real. The receipt didn't look real. It almost looked like a photocopy of a real receipt. It looked like something you could just print. Even the receipt, it just didn't feel real. You know, shoes have that smell to them. You got to think of what, you know, not that the shoes cost a lot to make, but Nike Factory, the glue they're using, this, that, and the other, it's, it differentiates from the people that want to mass produce these and they just don't have that right smell, that new car smell, that, that stuff that you get your shoe and you're like, oh my gosh. It's just incredible. Guys, you know what it is. You got to be able to pick apart the shoe. You got to look at the stitching. You got to look at the smell of the shoe. Certain things, it ends up being off. And if you don't know what you're looking for, you get got. So this is the Rishi Rich channel. We're keeping it real. I'm not going to wrap you guys up for a long time. Stay tuned. Let me know what you want to see. Did you like this episode? Rishi Rich. Stay tuned. I got a mall vlog. All right. Till the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.